sent any uh any leads or anything because it's kinda late. It's from like a, like a short stream anyway. But anybody who's joining me right now, welcome. Welcome to the stream. This is Salamander here. Today, I decided to put a little bit of sense screen, because why the heck not? I said I was gonna play it and I'm gonna play it. So hopefully you guys can see this in the past uh past streams. I know it'll be a lot of fun, so I'm gonna actually uh, watch this cutscene. This is the intro of it. So what I'm planning on doing here is I'm probably gonna play the tutorial. Look at that. Look at that house. Oh, that's well, that's really a shot. It's assassination right there. Look at that. Badass. Badass. Um, but I love this game. Assassin's Creed One, one of my all-time favorite games. I love the Assassin's Creed series. I'll need to play the uh, Itzio collection because I missed that one, so I'll have to set up some way to get it. Um, but other than that, I think I'll be fine. Freaking love this game. Oh my god, just disappears. And then there he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Walks right through them. Assassin's Creed. Oh, the game that started it all. It's freaking awesome. I actually bought the uh, the movie. Um. Oh, whoa! It didn't. It doesn't have a. I guess I erased it. I might have erased it. But oh well. Uh, it. I did watch the movie, and uh, I loved it. It's pretty cool. Oh, I wonder if I can. Um, I don't know if I can. I wanted uh, to put subtitles on this, but I probably cannot do that. Sorry, we're gonna have to listen carefully. I could be wrong though. Oh yeah. Okay, so this is uh. Uh, trigger and then move. Uh, and I can get the camera with the right thumbstick. Center the camera, I like it. Let's do that. I can center it like this. Okay, cool. Uh, oh. Press and all moving. Okay, cool. We've got a problem. He's gonna walk. Too much psychological trauma. He's rejecting retreating. Retreating. Look at that. Desmond, I need you to try and relax. And then we're gonna sprint. Let me try and stabilize. Oh, that guy! I hate those guys. Oh, those guys are so annoying. Error memories. It's whatever. Press B. Just a picture of the past. It can't hurt you. Damn it! It's not working. Keep moving. Keep going. Too much. It's too much. I can't handle it. Oh my goodness. We're losing it. All that was cool. That's enough, Mr. Mendel. We need to pull him out. Now. This is showing me the tutorials. I know how to do that. We're going to try and bring you out. So, yeah, so what I want is I want to get at least the tutorials out of the way because I don't want to have to deal uh, with all the explanation and whatnot. I mean, I might play like a little bit part of the game later on. Not today. <gasps> I mean, there's I no really no. He'd be fine. Bastards! Now, now, I just saved your life. Saved my life? You kidnapped me. You strapped me into that thing. Animus. It's an animus. I don't even know you people. Why are you doing this to me? You have information we need, Mr. Miles. Information? I'm a bartender, for Christ's sakes. What do you want me to do, teach you how to mix a martini? We know who you are. What you are. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't play coy with me. There isn't time. You're an assassin. And whether you realize it or not, you've got something that my employers want. Locked away in that head of yours. But I'm not an assassin. Not anymore. Yes, your file indicated as much. Something about an escape. Most fortunate for us. What do you want from me? For you to do as you're told. The Animus will allow us to locate what we need. Once we have it, you'll be free to go. I am not going back in there. 
Then we'll induce a coma and continue our work. When we're done, you'll be left to die. Truth be told, the only reason you're still conscious is because this approach saves us time. You're insane. So what is it, Mr. Miles? Live or die? Lie down. Alright. A wise decision. My headset's fallen off again. Where am I? You're inside the Animus. Which is... It's a projector that renders genetic memories in three dimensions. Genetic memory? Seems you'll need a bit of a tutorial. <sighs> Very well. We'll start simple. What is a memory, Mr. Miles? It's the recollection of a past event. Specific to the individual remembering the event. Yeah, sure. What if I told you that the human body not only housed an individual's memory, but the memories of his ancestors as well? That's insane! Genetic memory, if you will. Migration, hibernation, reproduction. How do animals know when and where to go? What to do? That's just animal instinct. Yeah. Now you're arguing semantics, Mr. Miles. Whatever you call it, the fact remains. These creatures hold knowledge absent the requisite first-hand experience. I've spent the past 30 years trying to understand why. I discovered something most fascinating. Our DNA functions as an archive. It contains not only genetic instructions passed down from previous generations, but memories as well. The memories of our ancestors. And the Animus lets you decode and read these DNA files. Precisely. That's but pretty cool. A problem. This is the specific memory we're trying to access. Unfortunately, when we try and open the memory, your mind withdraws. You lack the confidence to step into your ancestor's body. That's what happened earlier. You got knocked out of the target memory and pushed back to a more stable state. Why? It's your subconscious. It's resisting. We've found similar reactions among patients who undergo hypnosis to relive traumatic events. They can't jump directly into the specific memory. They need to be eased in. Even then, there can be problems. So how do we fix it? We find a memory you can synchronize with, and we move forward from there. You'll That's get cute. used to it. This is the closest we can get, so it's where we'll have to start. I'm uploading the tutorial program now. Oh, snap. Oh yeah, I love this, because I can actually move around. This is what I love about the Assassin's Creed games. At least it lets you do stuff while you're away. So, it ain't much, but it lets you do stuff. Maybe. Data stream unstable. Attempting to restore synchronization. Hello, Subject 17. This tutorial has been prepared in order to better acclimate you to the Animus's control system. Instructions will follow shortly. Will it though? The synchronization Ooh. bar represents how in sync you are with your ancestors' memories. If you ever fall completely out of sync, the Animus will restore you to your last synchronized position. Cool. You are currently dangerously close to desynchronization. Please follow all forthcoming instructions in Which order to restore one? system stability. The Animus utilizes a puppeteering mm -hmm. concept to control the actions of your ancestor. Oh. I'm loading subroutines to validate your body's adaptation to the Animus. We will begin by exploring the default actions of each input. Oh yeah, I remember this. Sort While of. <laughs> standing still, use the head button to observe your environment. Oh, eagle vision. Oh yeah, again, there's more than just the people around in front of me. Good. There we go. That's easy. Your empty hand to walk through these jar carriers without causing them to drop what they're holding. Proceed to the marker to continue the synchronization process. Seems kind of I do that. But there's nobody there. I've played this game so much that's normally what I do in real life. Reach the marker. Where's the marker? Oh, it's right next to me. Well Oop. done. 
The animus differentiates between two fundamental actions. Low profile and high profile. Uh. Low profile actions are socially acceptable. High profile actions are more action oriented. Hold the high profile button to see how your heads up display changes the context of the puppeteering right, input. Vision, punch, Excellent. Grab and jump and play. We will continue your synchronization process by testing some high-profile actions. Grab and throw this individual onto the marker by using the empty hand button in high profile. Move. Fool. Alright. I probably won't use it a lot. Using your legs button in high profile will allow you to sprint. Sprinting is useful to escape from soldiers or to get closer to a fleeing target. However, be careful not to bump into anyone, for you can lose your balance and tumble to the ground. It's happened While before. sprinting, reach the marker before this man does. Oh fuck, yeah, race to this piece of shit. There's no way you can lose, there's just no way. There we go. Well done. Yet he doesn't do anything to kill you. The Animus will also provide other important information. The social status icon gives you information on your social status. The different states will be explained in context soon. This icon appears when a soldier is looking at you. The yellow color means the soldier is either unaware or suspicious of who you are. To illustrate the change in awareness level, you will stealth assassinate this soldier. First, lock onto your target. Oh yeah, that's what Now, select your is. hidden blade. With your blade selected, walk up to the soldier and assassinate him by using your armed hand button. No, oh, it's simple as that. Just walk up to him and stab. There we go. Who did this? Show yourself. We're gonna hear that a lot. I don't know that part. The dead body has alerted the soldier and changed his awareness to informed, as represented by the red witness indicator. Aggressive actions, or socially unacceptable behavior undertaken at this time, will likely provoke an armed response. Provoke this soldier. Right. Notice how the social status icon has changed to exposed. Use the ladder, and try to break the line of sight. I don't know how to use a ladder, but I'm sure. Why don't you come out? Excellent. The line Let's of see. sight has been broken. And if you're thinking so much for hanging out, I greatly appreciate it. I'm just gonna hide here for a bit. Your social status indicates that you are hidden, but the soldier is still looking for you. Wait until your social status changes again. Hey, Brandon. What are you doing up so late, man? Well done. The soldier has lost your track. You are now anonymous, and you can exit the hide spot. Excellent. I mean, that whoops whoop. <laughs> so I'm only going to be here for a short while, Brendan. Yes, you can be. <laughs> hey, any of you are thanking so much for hanging out. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for joining me. There are different places which Land you Assassin's can use Creed. to hide. However, you must always break the line of sight first, and then use a hide spot to vanish. Oh yeah, those are the hiding spots I can go into. I remember this. I remember this. The haystack is always my favorite, but it's oh, and the and the church people—I forgot what they were called. Well, that's pretty cool. Okay, so what are Let we us here? continue with the demonstration of blend. Blend can be activated with the passive use of your legs. You can mimic a scholar and pass near soldiers without arousing suspicion. Use this to reach the marker behind the soldiers. Okay. Oh, I have to do. Oh, okay, okay. I thought I have to. Yeah, this takes forever, though. I remember every time I hear that beeping, I have to do this, and it takes forever. 